everyone is making a new graphics card. New Radeon graphics cards are coming, plus Battle Mage, Intel's new cards have arrived early. Why is there a strange man next to me? Well, we're gonna find out because handheld gaming is not dead yet. Also, some massive news. Fish tank PCs have taken over. Have you seen this? Of course he has. Let's get into the news. Come with me. All year, the talk around graphics cards has been about NVIDIA and most recently about Intel's Battle Mage cards, but there's a distinct lack of AMD Radeon cards in the conversation. Now we know AMD has admitted that they're not going to try to compete with NVIDIA in the high-end market. Whether you like NVIDIA or not, it's clear that they're more popular and that's not me picking sides, it's just the truth. After what seems like an eternity of silence, we have our first whispers of the new Radeon 8000 series of graphics cards. Let's take a look. AMD makes surprise announcement of next-gen GPUs through an update for its ROCM platform. Oh, is this the leak here? They put some lines in code and now everyone knows. Someone on the dev team uh, did a boo-boo. The name of the series has never been confirmed by AMD, but it would be very surprising if there were any changes to it. Well, it appears that AMD has just confirmed it. So this isn't an official PR announcement. I showed you the code leak here. While these are not SKU names, we now at least know the series. According to the ROCM library patches, AMD is indeed launching two GPUs within the next Radeon RX 8000 series, specifically the 8800 and the 8600. And it appears that AMD has confirmed the series name as the RX 8800, which would likely include XT and non-XT variants. For the most part, Apple keeps their, their shit on lock, so to speak. AMD and Nvidia, however, they float things like this all the time because consumers, especially that are looking at higher end cards, tend to look at rumors like this when they're making decisions on what they're gonna end up buying. So I think, I think you're right. I think this may have, been, may have been an intentional leak. I've even seen early reports and like threads of those Nvidia cards and people are like, what is up with the VRAM? Eight gigs on this card or whatever. No one's getting that deep. Yeah. So AMD is going to exploit that with this new lineup, just like they have in the past. They're gonna have more VRAM compared to Nvidia, and that's gonna be a big selling point for people in addition to the budget. What do you guys think? Let us know, what do you think? Is this, is this intentional from AMD to leak this? Let us know. Battle Mage is officially coming out today. We're gonna to get all the details on how these cards actually perform, not just what Intel has told us, but it turns out that some people have gotten their Battle Mage cards a little bit early. Santa came early. Tanner, can you believe that? No. This sometimes happens where the manufacturer accidentally sends out a product a few days early. It happens all the freaking time. And of course, this article on videocards.net explains the situation. Let's take a look. Uh-oh, we got a hands on early. Sparkle has already announced as many as five different ARC B580 and B570 graphics cards, but only two will go on sale this week. The company is sticking to its iconic blue color scheme. Is Sparkle, um, dear God. Yeah, that's not, we can't, we can't. No, we will continue on. Guys, there's construction happening in the studio. I don't care. <laughs> as I was saying. <laughs> This company is sticking to its iconic blue color scheme, which is a brave choice for a GPU design, given that it matches nothing from other companies. Wow, videocards.net uh, has a very strong opinion on these cards. Let's take a look at these. Oh yeah, that is striking blue color. It's almost leaning into purple. Boy, that looks just terrible in that build. Listen, we'd like to be positive on this show, right? Yeah. We do, but that's bad. This is, uh, allegedly this is from someone in Poland uh, who purchased the card and then the card got shipped prematurely. So he got it early. So this is like a very early look at this Battle Mage card and the drivers aren't even available yet. This has actually happened before. Cards get shipped early and people are like, I have a card that I can't use. It's got a B on the back plate, which obviously stands for Battle Mage. Yay, very cool. Yay! Guys, uh, I'm gonna be totally uh, transparent with you. We're filming this on Tuesday. So we don't have a lot of performance stuff available yet, but we do have this. So it seems at surface level, and we're gonna get into benchmarking and more data as time goes on, but it looks like this is competing, if not beating NVIDIA's 4060, which is very, very promising. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go! You guys ever hear about the Lee and Leo 11? Anyone? Guys? Hello? 
once. No, never once. Well, I think we probably had thousands of these cases roll through our building since it's release. They've had five fleeking million different versions of this case. And if you look around the rest of the PC case market, it is very clear that the O11 has had its impact. Every single company seems to have created their own O11 killer and all of them look like a fish tank. Now we thought that we were just seeing a lot of O11s and fish tank cases because we sell them, okay? But it turns out that this is an industry, an industry-wide pandemic. Fish tank PC case sales explode in 2024. Korean retail data claims tenfold growth for the style of chassis. Now, this makes sense because it is slowly becoming the only style of chassis. Quite literally, you would be hard pressed to find a new build that is not in a fish tank PC case. Hear me out. Fish tank with wood. Thoughts? Would you? Would you? So original. Very cool. <laughs> Guys, let's come up with it. It'll be the first time it's ever been done. A new report out of Korea helps us quantify the scale of the popularity of these panoramic window pane PC cases among DIYers and PC builders and PC companies too. It's not just DIYers. We love them as well, don't we? <sighs> yes, we do. Uh, I think these are incredibly popular because you can see inside every angle of the case, which was not something that was super common. Uh, and it also makes it easier for newbies to build in PC cases, which is kind of fun. It also allows for more intricate builds. Actually, all of our water cool builds for the most part, 90% of them are in the O11. It allows for a lot more visibility, especially when you're talking about water cooling and all those pretty parts and tubes and all that cool stuff. So I think that is also a reason why uh, those fish tank Cases are so popular. Guys, I don't want to get too political. But if you like fish tank PCs, go to metapcs.com. Don't skip this ad because look at all of these. That looks like a fish tank to me. That's a little baby fish tank. You could have that. If you went to metapcs.com on the ready to ship page or do a custom build and you get a fizz free peach mango Celsius with everyone you buy. You actually don't. It's not true. Yes, you do. It's not true. Guys, what? why would you get a handheld gaming device? Why would you, Tanner? Steam Deck. Do you remember the Lenovo Legion, MSI Claw, ROG Ally? Well, guess what? They're making more of them. No. Because you guys kept buying them. What are we looking at here? Lenovo Legion Go S. This is a leak, the first gaming handheld with, hmm. So AMD Ryzen Z2 Go processor. Uh, this is what the L L Legion Go S could look like. Why is everything, why are you doing AI? The AI has made product like, like um, just leaks and potential leaks so much more deceitful. Cause you can just feed it, be like, what would a new Legion look like? And then they'll post it on the internet. And you're like, there it is. And it's like, wait, wait, wait. This is what it could look like. I miss when people like went and photoshopped their own version. Yeah. Like the Xbox 720. I want the Wii with three eyes. Well, guess what? <laughs> you're not getting it. You're going to get a Lenovo Legion 2 and you're going to like it. This appears to be nearing release, by the way. This is a new leak from Win Future. The convergence of the device will feature a Ryzen processor called the Z2 Go. It's based on the Rembrandt silicon. You all remember the Rembrandt silicon, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> why are we reading this? Guys, why are you handheld gaming? MSI confirms Claw 8 slash 7 AI Plus launching at $899 and $799. Boy, <laughs> how much is a Steam Deck? You can get a one terabyte OLED Steam Deck for $649. Go back to the article on this Claw. $899, you, this, better, this better be the best, the best thing ever released. It's running, <laughs> it's running Intel Arc graphics? This launches the day after Christmas. Dude, MS, <laughs> would you buy a claw with these specs? I mean, take a look and obviously go look at videocards.net for their full article. They have all of the, the actual specs on there. We'll post them up. But would you guys, why would you buy this over a Steam Deck? And at the end of every show, you guys know that I like to make a little revelation, something that's going to happen, a little prediction maybe, or some news. And today, I have none. Like and subscribe. To wrap up the show, I'd like to say that you guys should all go watch Arcane on Netflix. It's a great show that I just started watching. Tanner turned me on to it. It's pretty freaking epic. It's pretty cool. Bye guys, don't watch Landman, it's getting really bad. <laughs>